Behind me, I have the brand new second generation Biomax 900 from Platinum LED Therapy Lights. I can not only select between infrared and near infrared, which is what a lot of panels have been able to do. I'm gonna turn this on. And as you can see, they're both running. Hello, it's Alex here from AlexFocus.com and yes, I have the Platinum LED Therapy Lights Biomax 900. This is the brand spanking new one, the new and improved, super high powered, very cool touchscreen uh, panel that hit the market late in 2021. Now, uh, this is my comprehensive review of this panel. I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos with this panel. Uh, I'm gonna do a comparison with the older generation 900 and the newer generation 900. I'm gonna compare it to the Biomax 600. Uh, I'm gonna compare it to the Mito Red Mito Pro 1500. I'm gonna do lots of videos, all right? So be sure to subscribe if you wanna check them out. But in this video, what we're gonna do is take a good hard look at the Platinum LED Biomax 900 second generation panel. So if you've seen my videos before, you'll be familiar with these review processes. Uh, but if you haven't, then welcome. Pretty much I use a bunch of tools such as an EMF uh, meter here, a spectrometer, a flicker meter, a sound meter, a power wattage meter, all sorts of things. And uh, I, I test this out and I share my thoughts and feedback and um, tell you everything you need to know about this panel. So first things first, what do you need to know about the Biomax 900? Well, like I said, this is the second generation Biomax panel. Uh, the first generation Biomax 900, which came out I think in 2018 or thereabouts 2019, uh, the first gen 900 was in fact my go-to red light therapy panel. It's what I personally used, it's what I recommended to friends and families, to readers and, and viewers. Uh, I just thought it was the, the best you could get. I mean, it was great price, great features, easy to use, extremely high powered, um, safe to use, all the good things, right? So. Surely the second gen panel is going to be better, right? And so far, based on my use over the last few weeks uh, and looking at the specs and stuff like that, then yeah, the Biomax 900 second gen is a lot better, um, especially because the price has stayed the same. So a little bit about the company itself. The company, Platinum LED Therapy Lights, uh, originally started in the grow light space um, and they used that, uh, what would you say, the supply chain, the contacts, the manufacturing processes that they learned all about um, developing really high quality grow lights. They took all of that and then entered into the red light therapeutic space, um, which we're all such a big fan of now. Platinum have been in the game for quite some time now. Uh, I think it's like over a decade. Um, and they have sold many, many red light therapy panels. Like I said, I've been using their panels for many years uh, and so have my family and a lot of, lot of you guys as well with amazing results. So the second gen panel, before we get into the full full review, I can run off a few key features that have uh, changed. The power is increased, which is awesome. There's a whole new touchscreen uh, control panel, which is amazing. There's uh, a wireless sync mode if you've got multiple panels, which is quite a nice little addition. Um, the internals have been all in great upgraded as you'd expect. Design-wise, there's a few subtle changes, nothing major, but we'll get into them as well. Um, all the EMF, all that sort of stuff, the flicker and all that is still good, if not better than the previous gen. Going back to this panel, let's start with the price. It retails for 1,149 US dollars. Now, I do have a discount code, that code is Alex, A-L-E-X, that will save you 5% on this panel and, and any of the platinum panels. Uh, so that brings the price down to $1,092, which is pretty good. I always say, uh, you know, I think that $1,000 mark is, is a key, key uh, price point when it comes to buying a red light therapy body panel. Um, but this is on the larger side of what I class as a body panel. It is 300 LEDs. Uh, it's utilizing five wavelengths, which we'll get into a little bit um, more detail soon. Uh, so you are, you know, you are spending a little bit more than the thousand dollar price point, but you are getting a lot of LEDs, and as we'll soon find out, a lot of power. Compare that to some other panels, you know, your Juve, uh, Red Light Rising. Some of those panels are thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars, and you're not even getting three hundred LEDs. So keep that in mind. Shipping, you get free US continental shipping, which is great and all, all pretty much becoming a standard across the market these days. Um, 
Shipping internationally is $80 US, which is, which is quite good. I mean, there are companies out there that are doing free international shipping, or at least they were last year. A lot has changed and the, the freight market has got rather crazy lately. So whether those companies are still doing it, I'm not too sure. But $80 international, I put in an address for Australia and the UK, it was $80 for both. So, so that is pretty neat. You can also get 0% financing when you purchase one of these panels. Um, not that I'm a big fan of personal debt, but hey, if you really want to tap into the benefits of one of these panels and you don't quite have the money yet, maybe that's something you want to look into. Now, I class the Biomax 900 to be a body panel. Uh, body panels, this is my standards, have between 150 and 300 LEDs. As I said before, this does have 300 LEDs, making it the large, uh, a large body panel on the market. As for the size, <coughs> personally, I think this is probably the best size red light therapy panel on the market like for one 300 led body panel i think they've pretty much nailed it here and now remember this is the same as it's the same size and dimensions as the gen 1 biomax 900 there's nothing new there but if you have seen my videos you would have seen i really like that size and design uh the reason being is it is 36 inches high so it's three feet high and it's 12 inches across so a foot across which is really cool because a lot of panels are quite quite thin, quite narrow, okay? You get maybe uh, 10 or nine or 10 inches across. With that extra width, you're getting more treatment when you're standing in front of the panel, of course, or like so, um, which is great. From a, a height point of view, <clears throat> some people will think three feet is too short. You know, there are panels that are a little bit longer, you know, the Mito Pro 1500, for instance, that is a lot longer. The reason I like three feet though, is if you get two of these and you stack them on top of each other, you have a six foot high panel, well, panels, you have six foot high panels with still that foot width, which is really, really good. If you get two, say, Mito Red, Mito Pro panels and you put them on top of each other, all of a sudden you're up quite high, seven foot or so, so you've got a lot of wasted light up there. Uh, so then let's take the Mito, I don't mean this to be a comparison video with the Mito Red, Mito Pro, because we will be doing that in another video, but if you took that um, and you had two of those, you're, you have to decide whether you go too high and have that wastage at the top or too across and have full body width, but you're missing a little bit in top and bottom. Because these panels do support modular capability, you can get multiple panels and clip them on or you can get a stand or a rack or something and click them all together. These things have to be uh, factored into your buying equation because if you plan on getting one now and then another one you know, in a few months time when you've got a bit more cash, it's nice to think, think ahead and uh, factor in all these, all these sizing considerations. From a weight point of view, it is heavy. It is 33 pounds, which is standard for a lot of the 300 uh, LED panels. You know, you're looking around that 30 pound uh, price point. It does have some really nice hand grips at the top and the bottom. It doesn't have the side hand grips uh, that the Juve, new Juve Gen 3 panels have, which I really like but still the, the grips at the top and the bottom are a huge bonus, trust me. If you're moving these panels or you're setting them up and moving them around the room or whatever, uh, having those handhelds, especially for a 33 pound panel, is, is very, very useful. Uh, so a nice addition there. There are four fans on these panels. They also have quite solid uh, rubber feet on the back. You can see it against the wall there. Uh, it protects the panel and your wall, which is nice. Uh, you've got the clips on the top for hanging from a hook or of course your door. Uh, or you can use stands like I mentioned before. From a design point of view, it's it's nothing revolutionary. In fact, nothing's really changed since the Gen 1 panel, but it's nice. I mean, it does the job, it's, it's not ugly. Um, so I can't really complain about that. On the side, you'll see that we've now got the red Platinum LED logo there. Uh, the previous Gen 1 had uh, a cutout etching in there. So that is one of the key differences that you will notice from a design and looks um, point of view. But the main thing you'll notice is this screen up on this side. Uh, at the moment, this panel is off, but that is a large touch screen um, that we're gonna have a play around with later, and it's very, very cool. When it comes with the included accessories, it's pretty much your standard stuff. You get a really good high gauge uh, power, power cable. Um, you get your extension cords for connecting multiple panels, uh, pulley system, steel hooks for hanging it fr from the wall, uh, a door hook, um, some eye goggles, and also a manual. Now the manual is a good high quality gloss manual. Uh, it is used across their product line. So if you got a different Biomax model, for instance, you'd get the same manual, which is fine because there's a lot of crossover. Uh, when you open it up, you'll see, you, you can see all the, the Platinum LED product range in there, all the different specs, um, what it's good, what they're good for, all those things. And then of course, 
you've got how to set it up, uh, key features, um, how to connect multiple units, how to, use, how to use the control panel, troubleshooting, frequently asked questions, why need support. Uh, so it, it is a good manual. Um, you got the benefits of red light therapy here as well, uh, which is always good because I always think like if you're buying this and you're new to the space or um, you are buying this for you know, your parents or a gift or something and they've never heard of red light therapy, uh, I think it's always good to have a manual that sort of explains a bit, you know, how it works, why it works, the science behind it. So it's nice that they've got that in there. As for other items you can purchase to go with this Platinum LED light, you've got a couple of stand options. I have reviewed one of them before. I'll put a link to that below. Um, it was the horizontal stand. Um, you can also get a vertical stand uh, and you can get a wall mounting bracket. Now both of those stands, the horizontal and the vertical stands, sell for $299. I believe you can use discount code Alex on those as well, though I might be wrong on that, Let's give it a go. So those stands allow you to connect multiple panels together, move them around, position them how you want to. Of course, you don't have to have that uh, stand to, to if you still want multiple panels. My personal setup in my office right now, I have two Biomax 900s um, on top of each other and I don't have a stand. I just have them connected in together and they're actually leaning against the wall. Uh, so, you know, just keep that in mind. But the stands do make it easier and they are quite nice stands. Uh, again, check out my video review of, of that. Now, I mentioned as well that wall mounting bracket. I actually hadn't seen that until very recently, until I was doing some um, prep for this video. Uh, that sells for $69 and all it does is clips or screws into the top of the panel and then into your stud on the wall, uh, which is quite a neat um, concept. As you, I don't know if you can see it, maybe it's just out of screen, but I've actually mounted uh, a couple of heavy duty hooks in my new uh, video recording studio room. By the way, if you have been watching my red light therapy re reviews for a while, typically I would kneel or sit on the ground when doing these reviews uh, and I was just doing them in a spare bedroom. Uh, now I have a dedicated space to do this, so I have some hooks up there and uh, I can stand and move around while, film, while filming. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, as you can see, I've got a hook up here in the stud and um, I'll use that for hanging my panel. When it comes to warranty and returns, Platinum LED offer a three-year warranty on their panel, which is great. Uh, there are companies that do five-year warranties, but three years seems to be like the gold standard now, which is still good. Uh, one thing I should note is Platinum LED actually uh, cover return shipping costs if you're panel does you know if it is a faulty panel so if it turns up it's not working they pay to ship it back which is um not commonly seen in the space so that is uh, a nice to know as well there's also a 60 day trial return period and uh the biomax 900 is an fda uh class 2 medical device i have to make sure i get the right terms here it is all it is also etl and ul inspected and improved um which Pretty much means that all the components and wiring and all those th things inside have been checked and, and um, quality control. All right, now let's look at the LEDs and power of this panel. Now, as I've already mentioned, you're getting 300 LEDs with the Biomax 900. The LEDs are split between your red light and your near infrared light. Now, you are getting five wavelengths, all right? Five different wavelengths. Platinum LED have come up with their custom blend. Uh, they've got quite a good article on their website. I'll put a link to that below. Now in the article they reference a lot of the peer-reviewed studies that they've looked into and uh, they've used that to explain why they've come up with this blend. Now it is quite a unique blend. Typically we see, um, well most panels in the market just utilize the 660 and the 850. That's what most of the research has been done on red light therapy uh, but there is a lot of promising evidence on other wavelengths and we're seeing that uh, translate into multi-wavelength panels. All right so you've got panels that are offering all sorts of wavelengths now. So Biomax have done that, but they haven't totally embraced it because 80% of the power from this panel is still emitting 660 and 850 nanometer light, your, your, your standard uh, red light and near infrared light. As well as that, you've got 10% of light going to 630 nanometers, 5% of light going to 810, and 5% going to 830. Now, um, back in 2019, when I first started uh, reviewing these panels, uh, Platinum LED was one of the first panels to offer the multi-wavelength technology, and I thought it was amazing, right? Because we could finally tap into some of these other wavelengths that I'd read about, I'd read the studies on, and all that good stuff. So uh, now, fast forward a couple of years, we're, it's becoming more of the norm. We're seeing a lot of panels now, Mito Red, uh, Lightpath LED, uh, I think, 
What was the other one? Uh, Solbasium, it might have been. Sorry, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. They're all offering uh, multi wave panels now. Some of them um, are going equal splits, you know, 25% to four different wavelengths. Biomax, they're standing by their, their blend that they introduced back in 2018, 2019. Um, and that, I, to be honest, I mean, I, I personally like the idea of, of, benef uh, of being able to be exposed to these other alternative wavelengths, as I call them. Um, but I know most of the studies and the, the science is still around the 660, 660 and 850. So that's what Platinum LED have, have kept here with the Biomax uh, 900 second gen. They've got 80% of the power going to the tried and tested 660 and uh, 850 and then you've got the 20 percent going to these uh, alternative wavelengths now some people might want you know maybe they've read a study showing that 810 is going to be really good for brain health and they want to tap into that then um you know you may be a little bit disappointed on that saying that though if you were in that particular instance if you were wanting 810 say for for brain health you don't really need a full panel uh full body panel just to hit the brain, right? You could get a really small panel, you could get a handheld one, um, and, and just use that for your head. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is use my spectrometer to test the wavelengths of this panel. Then I'm gonna go in and test the irradiance as well. So uh, I'll get straight into that. Um, if you wanna know how I do the testing, the devices and all those sort of things, I'll leave a link to a video that explains the protocol. I'm gonna go in and test the wavelengths, the power, and then report back with those numbers. All right, so let's go in and test the red light wavelengths first. So I've disabled near infrared. We're just doing red light now. Now what's gonna be interesting here, as I move around the panel with my meter, uh, you may actually see slightly different graphs because remember there are two different red light wavelengths here. So let's just stop that. Okay, so remember there should be 40% of the energy going to 660 and 10% going to 630. We can see there the peak is 661, so that's pretty much bang on. I always give these uh, uh, readings a margin of error of uh, five nanometers, so no issues there with um, discrepancies. And when we come down to the next peak, the smaller peak, smaller peak, uh, 632. So, yep, we're definitely getting your red light uh, at 630 and 660. Let's go test the near infrared. Okay, so there are three near infrared um, wavelengths here. So as I move around, we're getting very different uh, figures, which is to be expected. And let's try and see. Well, you can see now we've got the peak there at 852. So that's what 40% of the near infrared, sorry, that's what 80% uh, of the near infrared light is made up of. So that's right. And let's see if we can get some of these other peaks. Here we go. This is really good. Okay, so you can see the three peaks here. All right, so this is a really good graph because it shows the blend of all the light, the, uh, the 850, the 830, and the 810. Well, at least that's what it should be. So you can see the peak there, 851.2, so no issues there. About there, we're at 835.7, so slightly above the listed 830, though I'm not too worried about that because you've got so much other light coming in through here. But you can see you're still getting a ton of light, um, a ton of energy at that wavelength. And then when we come down to the next one, should be about there. What are we up there? 812. So that should be um, peaking at 810. So that's actually a really good graph because it shows the light breakup, uh, the light breakdown of this um, of the near infrared Biomax 900. Again, that's not a perfect um, map because it was just one snapshot that I took. Uh, I could go into each LED and measure it, but we'd end up being here all day testing different numbers. Just remember though, like if you're thinking. Um, I've said this before, but LEDs, they're not lasers, right? You're getting a wide range of energy. Um, so if I come into the 850, you're getting all that power up there at 850, but then if I come across to say 870 or 865 here, you're still getting a ton of power, right? So you're really, with these Biomax 900 panels, you're really getting like a heap of, heap of uh, <clears throat> power from say 800 right through to 870. Um, which is quite a broad, broad range. So for those of you who are thinking, oh, you know, it's only 10% or 5% of the energy is going to 830. I mean, when you look at this, like sure, there's only 5% of the LEDs in the panel are uh, 830, but just remember 
that LEDs don't work like lasers, right? You're getting quite a broad range. Like you're getting a ton of power at, at 840 from those 850 nanometer lights. I know it all gets a little bit confusing, but it's why I personally don't get too caught up in the hard numbers and, and even um, irradiance power figures and all that because there's so many variables and it's not a hard sort of science. All right, let's go test the uh, irradiance numbers now. All right, those numbers are in and it's very, very interesting. Uh, so for the peak power that I had with the Biomax 900, I had a reading of 82.7 milliwatts uh, of centimeter squared. So you can see that uh, measurement there. I actually saw about 85, 86, I think it was like 86.2 or something like that. It was very, very brief. It just flicked on and then um, I couldn't get it again. Like I was moving around looking for those peaks. I keep seeing the 80s, like the 81s, 80s flat, 82, um, but yeah, I couldn't see that high reading. So I'm going to go with the 82.7 because that was quite a consistent peak. Uh, so we'll, we'll crunch these numbers later on uh, and compare them to some other panels because it is very interesting, like I said. Um, the average of nine uh, going around the panel and through the middle was 72. And by the way, these numbers are great. Like the, the power coming off this panel is, is, is exceptional. Uh, it may not be the highest number we've seen. Uh, the Biomax 600 is still the, the top and we'll get to that later. But I can tell you now, there's a lot of power coming out of this and combine that with 300 LEDs, you're getting a total, uh, a huge amount of watts, all right? So I crunched the total power wattage which factors in size and um, each LED's power, and that came out to be a whopping 147.7 watts, which is which is massive, okay? Now, what I also did is I tested the wattage draw. We had 802 watts when both red and near infrared lights were going, 385 for near infrared, and 430 for the red light on its own. So, uh, yeah, all very impressive numbers. Uh, once we have these numbers, I can then do a dollar per wattage uh, figure. So this simply calculates how many dollars you need to spend to get one watt of, of therapeutic red light. Now, remember, the lower, the better. Ideally, you should be around the $10 mark or even less. Um, some panels are up in the $20 mark, which is unfortunate. The Biomax 900 second gen came out at a record low of, I've got it here, $7.40. So uh, that's exceptional. I mean, if you compare that to the Biomax 600, the smaller uh, Biomax panel, even though that had a higher peak power, and we'll get into that soon, uh, that, that dollar per watt figure was $8.50. This was $7.40, uh, so that's that's really, really good. And the Mito Red Mito Pro was $8, so slightly more than this. So yeah, this is the best dollar per wattage figure that uh, I've tested so far. So very, very cool. All right, so I've got the hotspot test going here. Uh, this piece of A4 paper is six inches off the panel. Uh, and you can see here there are some um, hotspots, polka dot effect. Uh, so you can actually see where the near infrared lights are and the red lights are, and you can see where the uh, six, what is it, 630 nanometer light is compared to the, the standard 660. Remember, you've only got, uh, I think it's 10% at 630 and 40% um, of the LEDs are at 660. So yeah, there, there is a, a hotspot effect there. The closer you go, the more intense that hotspot effect is, right? The further away you go, the, the more blended it is. So at the moment with six inches, if I take this off, if we come back to say, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 inches, there's hardly anything. Now, the reason why I'm sort of softening my stance here is, yeah, I mean, I got a lot of feedback after my 2021 comparison series, so I appreciate all those comments, but it's just simply due to the power from these new panels, they're so powerful that you can stand further back, you can stand at eight inches, and you're still getting a massive amount of um, red light on the body, but that, that light all blends in. It's, it's not like we have to stand an inch and you're getting that polka dot effect on your body. And I notice this when I'm using these panels because I am often standing further back. Um, you don't notice the hot spots on the body as much as I used to. So look, I know I, I seem to chop and change with it, but hey, it's, it's a tricky one. All right, those numbers are all in. So I can confirm that the EMF levels on the Biomax 900 second gen are all perfectly good, rock, rock, rock bottom. Uh, comparable to the Biomax 600 gen, gen 2, which I tested uh, late last year. Uh, so that is all good news. Uh, there was, in the magnetic reading at six inches, we're, like I said, rock bottom, green, nice and safe. 
As all these panels are so good with the EMF levels, I am testing closer up. At three inches, there was uh, 0.23 micro Teslas, which is just into the orange bracket, which is pretty much common now for, for the top panels anyway. Um, I'm, it's very rare to get one that's still green at three inches. So yeah, great readings there. Uh, nothing to worry about. No flicker as well, which is good and expected. And um, the sound out of this, panel was actually a little bit quieter than the Biomax 600. It came in at 49 decibels, which puts it as um, you know one of the quieter panels on the market. All right, next up, we're gonna look at operation, setup, ease of use. Then I'll share my thoughts and feedback after using this panel for the last few weeks now. And then uh, the real fun part of the, the video where I compare this panel to other panels in the market and uh, other panels within the Platinum LED product range. So operating the new Biomax panels is really simple. In fact, it's really nice with this new touchscreen. So I've simply plugged in the cable. There's a big master switch on the back. I'll turn that on. You can see the screen lights up and you're faced with this menu here. Uh, it's simple as that really. If you want to get straight into it, just hit on and away you go. Uh, it's, it's up and running. But let's have a look around now. Uh, like I said, it's all touchscreen. There's no physical buttons. Um, I was a little bit hesitant uh, well, I was a little bit nervous. I thought uh, when it's all touchscreen, it's going to be a nightmare to use, but it's actually very simple. So we'll turn it off. So what I can do here is I can go into timer, which is self-explanatory. Uh, you've got some preset times, 10, 15, 20, or custom times. You can go right down to one minute, nine minutes, hit run, away you go. You see the timer come up here and there's a visual display uh, that shrinks as you near the end of your, your session. Uh, so you can go back, I can go into custom mode here and this is really cool. So I can not only select between infrared and near infrared, which is what a lot of panels have been able to do. I can actually ch change or customize the amount of power going to each wavelength. So I can have, of course, 0% red and 4% near infrared. You can't see that, but it's still running. Uh, I can do the opposite, of course. I can go right down and just have red, um, or I could have, say, just 10% red light or 20%. You can do whatever you want, right? And it's, it's pretty cool. So some people think, well, is this just a gimmick? And early on, I thought, yeah, it probably was. But the more I've uh, researched and read and, and reviewed these panels and actually use them, the more I realize this is actually a pretty neat feature. So here's a few examples. Let's say you just want a background light. You want some red light in the room, um, which a lot of people use, by the way. Uh, you can set it on 1%. You're only getting 1% um, of the energy going to the red light, but at least you're not getting a big power bill uh, when it comes to operating this light. Um, if you just want to tap into red light, of course, you can do that and, and not use the near-infrared. If you have found that the near-infrared is it's too hot or like it stimulates the body too much, but you still want a little bit, you can have full red and just a little bit of near-infrared. Or let's say for some reason you have to stand really close to the panel when you're using it, but you don't want the high intense radiance light, you know, you want to drop it down a bit, so you could run it at say 50% H. Uh, there's so many things, or you can just experiment. Maybe you want to experiment with high red light and a little bit of near infrared light or vice versa. Uh, there's just so much you can do um, that you can't do in other panels. Other panels either are all or nothing, like all the red and near infrared light runs or it doesn't, or you can select between red or near infrared and that's it. This allows you to customize ratios, percentages. It's, it's actually pretty cool. So as well, along with that, um, you then have your, uh, when you're using this panel in conjunction with other panels and you can link them together, you do it all through this menu. And it's actually very easy to do. Uh, there's a Wi-Fi option mode in, in this um, panel. It's disabled by default, so if you're worried about the EMF, don't worry, you actually have to go in and enable it. Uh, but what that allows you to do is have two panels. I can then go in and um, link them together, which is a very simple process, and then control both panels from one without, having them, without them having to be linked. Let me show you. Okay, so what I've got here are two Biomax 900s, one on my left, one on my right. As you can see, they're not connected. Uh, that one's over there because there was another power socket there. Um, they're not linked together. I literally spent 10 seconds, set this as primary number one, set that as secondary, a group number one. Couple of button presses, super simple, figured it out without, a, without the manual. Now what I'm gonna do is, they should be linked together, I'm gonna turn this on, and as you can see, they're both running. It's very, very cool. So then if I turn this off, or if the timer ran out, for instance, 
they both turn off, which is really cool. I have done a whole video on this before, uh, so check that out if you want to know more about that feature. It's not for everyone, but it is a nice feature to have. I personally do use it in my home uh, office setup, and it does make things easier, and it's one less cable you got to play around with. Okay, so before we get into my comparison and then conclusions, I just want to share my own feedback from using this panel. So, like I said, I've been using this, well, I've been using the Bimax 900 for a couple of years now, the new second generation panel for maybe a month or so, maybe a bit longer. Uh, I've been using them stacked two on top of each other, and um, I can tell you now that, yes, there is a ton of power coming out of these. Uh, it's Usually I'll do 15 to 20 minute sessions. I'm only doing 10 with these. I just I just feel like I don't know, I don't need as much. It's I, it's so hard to quantify and stuff, but yeah, I'm I'm doing shorter sessions with this, which is to be expected given the increase in power. Um there is a lot of heat that comes out of them as well. Again, that's just related to the amount of power. Um they are efficient machines. We, we, we've tested that with the radiance. It's quite amazing the power that these LEDs are putting out. Um but yeah, you it definitely does warm you up, right? Like there's a lot of energy in these. The touchscreen is awesome. I do love it. Uh, it's just simple to use. Um, and I don't really have too much else to report on. What I will do now though, is compare this panel to the Blimax 600 and also some, to some other panels in the market. Then finally, I'll wrap it up and share my concluding thoughts. Okay, so let's see how the Blimax 900 compares to other panels in the market. Now, first things first, we'll compare it to its brother, the Biomax 600, which I've also uh, reviewed and tested thoroughly, so be sure to check that out below. Um, now, the Biomax 600 has 200 LEDs instead of the 300 LEDs that this 900 has here. The 600 is the same height, but it's narrower, okay? So you're losing some of that width, uh, which I personally like uh, if you're using it as a body panel. Now, the 600 is $250 cheaper than the 900, but of course, you're getting less LEDs, uh, and it does increase you are spending more per LED with the 600 compared to the 900. Um, you're getting all the same tech, the same control panel, same layout and everything, handholds and all that sort of good stuff. You're getting more LEDs and a larger treatment area. So the total power you're getting from the 900 is more than the 600. Now one thing, and I forgot to mention this earlier after we looked at the power data, you may have noticed that the peak power was actually higher in the Biomax 600 second generation than the peak power in the 900. And now. This was, this has been a little bit, uh, well not controversial, confusing maybe, uh, and I wasn't too sure what was going on here because that wasn't the case back in 2019 when I compared the 600 and the 900. The 900 has similar peak reading. But what I'm told is the power levels in these new generation panels are so high that if you have multiple panels linked together um, from the same power point, it's gonna trip the circuit, it's gonna break the circuit, right? Because the load is just so high. So what Platinum have had to do is in the 900s, they've had to down, down regulate the, um, the power out on the 900 so that doesn't happen. Now they didn't have to do this, they could have left it at the sky high limit and we would have seen some amazing peak readings on this, but they knew that it would have just caused problems for consumers as soon as you had multiple, pan multiple um, panels going. So uh, good on them for doing that. I did ask them, why, if they could not change the, the software in this, that if there's only one panel going on its own, that you get that higher output figure, and um, it's only when you link them together that it downgrades it. And yeah, they said that was that was an interesting thought. And um, But saying that, you don't really need to do that. I mean, the power from these panels is insane. Like, it's so high. I actually think we've sort of hit a ceiling now. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if in the coming years, the, reading, the power readings don't get much higher than these numbers because like why? I mean, they're so powerful. You can stand two feet away and you're still getting a therapeutic dose. So yes, you are getting a higher peak reading in the 600, but from a total wattage point of view, you're getting more in the 900. And uh, we saw that with the, the price per watt figure as well. So with the Biomax 600, you're getting a price per watt of $8.50. Remember, lower is better. With the 900, you're getting a price per watt of uh, $7.40. So you're getting more bang for your buck with the 900. I should mention that the Biomax 600 placed second out of 12 panels in my 2021 comparison series. So, you know, it means it's a good panel, right? Now, of course, this panel wasn't in, in that series. What I'm going to do for a bit of fun is I'm going to go back, now that I've got the numbers for this 900, and see how this would have performed if that was in the comparison series. I'll do a separate video for that, so be sure to subscribe. Now, I guess what I'm saying is if you're on a tighter budget and you need to save a few hundred dollars, the Biomax 600 is an exceptional panel. I mean, it's, it's incredible, right? Uh, if you do have a few more dollars though, you're getting more bang for your buck. You're getting more value by getting the 900. Of course, if you, if you can get two of these, you got a six foot high setup, 
with a foot width, which uh, which is is really really neat. Um, I will do a dedicated video comparing the 900 to the 600 uh, later on. So again, subscribe for that. Platinum also do a bio range, which doesn't have the advanced control panels and a few of the advanced features. That is cheaper again, uh, but you're losing out a lot of bells and whistles, and I actually haven't tested that. Okay, so what about other companies? Well, Mito Red and Juve are probably the two main uh, rivals to the Platinum LED. So let's look at Juve first. Now the Juve Gen 3 panel, it's quite an interesting panel. Uh, it did place uh, middle of the pack in my 2021 comparison series, seventh place in fact, um, but it is quite, I mean, it's the market leader. It's 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 everywhere, right? From from a marketing point of view, but you're spending more. I think it's about thirteen hundred dollars, fourteen hundred dollars, and you're getting half the LEDs as the Biomax nine hundred. You don't get the multi-wave technology that the Biomax have, and you don't get the same power output that the Biomax has. Plus, the Biomax is a lot safer. The EMF levels on the Juve were quite high. It was really loud, driving me nuts. Um, the the wearing and stuff. Go check out my videos. You'll see what I mean. So to be honest. I don't see why anyone would consider the Juve over the Biomax 600. It's just an, uh, sorry, the Biomax 900 or the 600 for that matter. It's just a no brainer. Uh, the Biomax panels are much better panels, the better power, safer to use, uh, multiple frequencies, um, nice and easy to use with the control panel. Lots going for it. Plus they're cheaper. So then what about the Mito Red Mito Pro 1500? Now, of course, that was the panel that won my 2021 comparison series. It just beat the Biomax 600. It was like neck and neck for most of the series and then right at the end they, they came out on top. So um, this is the million dollar question, right? It's what I get asked all the time. I got asked before that series, I got asked during that series and I'm still getting asked it today. Which one's better? Um, I'm gonna do a dedicated video and I wanna take a deep dive. Now that we've tested this and I've got all the numbers to crunch, I can sit down and make a pretty good comparison. At the moment, <laughs> Off the top of my head, I, I was quite impressed with those numbers. The biggest one I noticed though was the uh, total wattage output figure. So the total wattage output from, actually look at the, let's look at the power numbers first. The peak power in the Mito Red Mito Pro was 88 watts. The peak power in this panel was 82, so it was a little bit less power. However, the total wattage was higher in this panel than the Mito Red. And that's because of um, the size, the, the, the size of the panel uh, and the LEDs are uh, um, spaced out a little bit more. And plus the, the, the ratio between the height and the width, okay, because the, the Mito Red is a lot taller and narrower. So that's quite interesting. It, because they're both the same price, it also means the dollar per wattage figure is better for the Biomax. You're getting more power per dollar with the Biomax over the Mito Red. So that is all, all interesting. Both of the panels have multi-wave technology. However, the Mito Red does have more power going to those alternative wavelengths than the Biomax. The Biomax is still relying primarily on the 660 and 850. Not that that's a bad thing or a good thing. It's just it is what it is. Some people might want to tap into those benefits. Other people might, might want to experiment with the alternative wavelengths. The control panel is so much nicer on the um, Biomax touchscreen. You can do the wireless syncing, the, the ratios. You know, you can't do any of that on the Mito Red. In fact, the Mito Red panel, control panel, sure it works and there's nothing majorly wrong with it, but it is quite basic. So that's a big draw card for the, for the Platinum panel. Um, the EMF readings were pretty much similar. I think the Mito Red was slightly ahead there. This is a quieter panel uh, by a few decibels, if that matters, not a big difference though. Warranty, everything like that is the same. Yeah, I mean, it's tricky. Price, like I said, it's the same price. Both of them um, come down to 1,100 or thereabouts after using discount code Alex. Free shipping in America for both panels. However, international shipping is, by the looks of it, from my estimations, uh, cheaper with the Biomax. So that is something you may factor in when if, you, if you're living outside the US. One key difference though is the size and shape. So both the Mito Red and the Biomax six, uh, 900 have 300 LEDs. However, the Biomax 900 is a shorter and wider panel. The, Bio, the Mito Pro 1500 is narrower and taller. When I first saw the Mito Pro 1500, I was like, oh, it's quite a big panel. But I think I'm leaning more towards this size as my preferred size. I like the extra width, right? Especially if you're just getting one panel because you can use this for the top half of your body then the bottom half uh, and you know you're getting good treatment across the body. But even better than that, if you get two of these, you've got a six foot high, one foot wide panel. If you get two Mito Pros, you've got a seven foot high panel that's quite narrow. So again, 
it's, it's really tricky. It's hard to say look, one's better than the other. So it really comes down to what you're looking for and what you value more than other things. Finally, you could throw Lightpath LED into the mix here if you are shopping around. Uh, they have a, a panel, it's their Pulse Large multi-wave panel, has multi-wave technology um, and is a similar size, I think it's a few less LEDs, similar, similar price as well. Uh, but it does use pulsing technology, which none of these other panels I've been talking about recently use. Okay, so we're coming up to the end of the video and I appreciate you hanging around. Uh, let's go through what I do like about this panel, what I don't like, and then my final thoughts. So, what do I like about it? Well, where do I start? The touchscreen control panel, amazing. The uh, ability to change ratios, custom ratios, ambient mode, all those sort of cool things with the, the sliders there, very, very cool. The wireless sync, not for everyone, but it's, it is a nice to have addition. Um, the size, I think it is a really good size and shape, just that extra width. I, I really do like the wider, shorter panels. Uh, two of these is pretty much like the perfect uh, single panel setup you can get, really. Three year warranty, great. 60 day trial period, also good. Free uh, US shipping and reasonably priced international shipping, also good things. Power output, amazing. Sure, it's not the highest peak power. We saw that in the Biomax 600. They still hold, that still holds the record. However, from a total power output, it's, it's probably the best I have tested on that front. It's also got the best dollar per uh, wattage output figure as well, which is amazing. I mean, you get an exceptional value for this. Multi-wave technology, sure, 80% of the power is going to 660 and 850, but at least you know those are the tried and tested uh, wavelengths and you're still getting 20% of power going into those alternative wavelengths as well. Sure, it doesn't have some of the advanced features such as uh, pulsing technology or fancy things with the Bluetooth phone that say the Juve has. Personally though, I'm not into those things too much, but it does the basics exceptionally well and that's why it's so hard to beat. As for what I don't like, well, it's tricky. There really isn't that much to say. You could argue that the hotspot, um, seeing the hotspot issues, the polka dot effect at six inch is a bit of a problem. Though, like I said earlier, the power on this, take an extra uh, step back or an inch back and that's no longer a problem. Uh, so yeah, not a biggie there, but it may put some people off. Some may still want to stay under that thousand dollar price point. I know that's uh, a common theme I see in emails, but hey, remember discount code Alex brings the price down to $1,092. You, you spend 90 bucks extra, 100 bucks extra, and you're getting one of the best valued um, from a power point of view panel the panels on the market. So it's really hard to beat. But otherwise, there's not a lot of bad things to say about this panel. I mean, it is a really, really good panel, and it's similar to what I said in my Biomax 600 reviews. I love the Gen, Gen 1 Biomax, it's what I use, it's what changed my body and helped me with recovery and it's what my family and friends all use. These panels are better than those panels, the original panels. So but really if you're looking for a red light therapy panel and uh, you know, you've been in the space for a while checking out reviews and stuff, I mean it's really hard to not go past the, the Platinum LED Biomax range. I mean they, they tick all the boxes, great value, great power. They were great in their Gen 1 panels and these new Generation 2 panels have improved beyond that while keeping the price the same, which is quite amazing. So, at the end of the day, all I can do is share my thoughts, share the facts, share the data, and um, hopefully it's helped you make an informed decision. Pretty much though, it's hard to go past the Platinum LED Biomax range. Sure, if you want something that's really out there with the advanced pulsing technology, then you may want to look at Light Path or something like that, but otherwise, really hard to beat. If you have enjoyed this video please leave um, a thumbs up and any questions or comments below. Be sure to subscribe though because I'll be doing a lot more with this panel. I'll be comparing it to the Mito Pro 1500 and the head to head. I'll be running this panel through my 2021 point system to see where it would have placed if it was in there. Uh, I'll also be comparing it to the Biomax 600 so I've got lots of cool stuff coming out. Until then I'm going to sign off and I'll see you later. Bye.